sustainability. You either love it or you hate it. My name is Philip Loring. I'm a researcher with the Errol Food Institute in the Department of Geography, Environment, and Geomatics at the University of Guelph. In my 15 years of working as a sustainability researcher, I've encountered three kinds of people. There are those who really love sustainability, who embrace it and see it as a game changer for solving social and environmental problems. And then there are people who hate it, who see it as a meaningless buzzword or worse, a Trojan horse for pursuing radical social agendas. And then there are the people who love sustainability not because they buy in, but because they want you to buy in. These are the greenwashers who use the language of sustainability to gussy up their business as usual. My new paper proposes an explanation. You see, sustainability is not just a new science concept or target. Sustainability is a completely different way of seeing the world. That is to say, sustainability is not just something you can easily read about and learn. It's a whole new paradigm and paradigm change is hard. You need to learn to think with entirely new concepts, many of which at first seem foreign, counterintuitive, or even naive. Enter threshold concepts. Threshold concepts are the core concepts that anyone must master if they are to think effectively from within a new paradigm. In my many years of teaching sustainability, I've encountered many threshold concepts. In this paper, I discuss five that I think are key. Complexity, multiple ways of knowing, collaborative institutions, no panaceas, and adaptability. Briefly, complexity means seeing the world as systems of connections and relationships, rather than just a series of linear causes and effects. In a system, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. To understand systems, we need to contend with such things as emergence, nonlinearity, and generally recognize that our ability to know and influence the world will always be limited. Next is multiple ways of knowing. This is a recognition that no single system of gaining knowledge, for example the scientific method, can give us a complete picture of this complex world. We must learn to accept many different ways of knowing, even if they seem to contradict each other. It is only in this tapestry of overlapping ways of seeing and knowing the world that we can grapple with the complexity of it. So how do we put those multiple ways of seeing and knowing together? Through the next threshold concept, collaborative institutions. These describe the many ways that humans work together to sustainably manage resources. Humans have a long history of developing effective collaborative institutions for working in and with the environment in a sustainable way. This is an important threshold concept because it specifically upends the popular tragedy of the commons myth, which has told us for generations that only with the strong hand of government or markets can we keep from over-harvesting resources. No panaceas? Now this is a tricky one because it runs counter to our modern and industrial ideals about how we solve problems. The threshold concept of no panaceas means that there's no one-sized-fits-all solution to any problem. Environmental challenges are necessarily place-based, so our systems for producing food, managing water, what have you, must also be place-based, especially relying on place-based knowledge. And finally, there's adaptability. Because once we've committed to acknowledging the complex and place-based nature of the world, we have to acknowledge that managing for variability and change, not stability, should be the goal of our actions. Now, this is particularly counterintuitive to some, given that they assume that sustainability means stability. But fish and game populations vary, climate varies, bird and insect populations vary. So our behavior needs to work with, not against these cycles of variation. Now, not everyone agrees on the detail of these five threshold concepts. And that too is part of how sustainability is a fundamentally different paradigm. People critique sustainability often for not having a clear and singular definition, but this is actually one of its biggest strengths. It's okay for sustainability to mean different things in different contexts. If you want to learn more about threshold concepts and what they mean for sustainability and how you can work with them or teach them in the classroom, you can read the paper at facetsjournal.com. 
You can also listen to an abridged version of the paper, narrated by me as a pubcast available on SoundCloud, and from my website, conservationofchange.org. And if you have any questions, please reach out. My contact information is also at my website, conservationofchange.org. And stay tuned. In future videos, I will explore these concepts in more detail. Thanks so much for watching.